Alright guys, this is John and this is Art Quest Episode 9. In this episode, uh, I'm going to show you how to make a brush in Clip Studio Paint. It's a little different and similar than doing it in Photoshop. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily more intuitive or better, it's simply just different. So I'm going to kind of run through that and, and show you guys kind of how uh, I go about making custom brushes in this program. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import an image or actually I'm going to open an image um, I downloaded from textures.com this texture here was just supposed to be seamless and what I'm going to do is duplicate the layer and Let's see here. I think I'm going to go and remove some saturation here. I kind of want to make it uh, pop a little more. So I'm going to do a new correction layer. Let's do tone curve. I think that should be good. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go up to, I believe, edit, yeah, register material. Oh, let's merge this down actually. Merge the layer below. Uh, so edit, register material, image. We're going to go with use for paper texture. We can use it for both the brush tip as well. And we're going to put it in image material. Uh, let's put it in brush and picture. And texture. Let's put it in there too. And I'm just going to tag it with my name so it's easy to find. So I can just type my name in when I'm searching for it. And all the things I make personally will come up. Hit OK. All right, so we're done with that. Don't save. So for this next part, let's take a, a brush and we're going to Use black and just kind of smear some paint around. I don't like that brush. Let's use this dry, dry gouache one and really try and get some interesting texture going on. Add some little random dots that will make this all interesting and get the blender kind of smear some stuff around Try and center this. All right. So there's other ways to do this. You could have scanned in an image of, um, you know, your of of ink. That's what I did for some of my custom brushes. So I, I made some ink splotches on a piece of watercolor paper and scanned it in, and then did what the step I'm about to do. Or you can create the texture in the program itself and create a new brush based off of. The, I'm using the default gouache brushes here. Uh, as well. So I'm going to use um, this gouache brush here and I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to call it John's Custom Brush 
squash. And we'll use the oil paint symbol, I guess. Um, hit OK. So we have this brush here. We're go this is going to be the base brush that we're going to use. Uh, we're going to completely change it to uh, function completely differently than the default uh, gouache brush. But first, we got to save this out. Again, we're going to go to Edit, Register Material, and go to Image. We got it here. We're going to use it only for brush tip. And let's put it only in brush material. And again, we'll use my name so I can find it easily. Hit OK. So now, I don't need to save this. We'll go to File, New. Let's uh, let's do a 2,000 by 2,000 pixel image. We'll increase this to 300. This is going to be where we test the brush, kind of make it do what we want it to do. So now I'm on this brush that I duplicated, and I'm going to go to this little wrench symbol down here. I'm going to click it. We're going to go to brush tip. So right now it has some other sort of material here for its shape. So we're going to click that, and we're going to search my name. And here it is, and hit OK. Then on texture here, we're going to also search my name. And there it is, hit OK. Let's see if we can get something interesting out of it. Let's just leave it there. Let's go back to brush tips shade. No, brush tip. So we have our shape there. Let's You can adjust these kinds of things and you can kind of see in the preview window the effect that you're going to have. You can change like the angle there. I want it to be more round like that. And I want a little more uh, opacity to it. That might be interesting. And let's see, I think it's an ink here where we can test, for instance, the amount of paint uh, and essentially how it's going to mix with other colors underneath it. So you can see, this is actually kind of an interesting brush. Let's see here. Let's, um, Let's erase this. Let's get a selection going. And let's make a sphere. See like how painting with this brush works and then you can kind of paint something simple like this and maybe figure out what exactly 
is this brush functioning the way you want it to? I don't really have an intended purpose for this other than to demonstrate how to make a brush, a simple brush. So I don't have a necessary, necessarily a purpose to this. I do think that it does need some work though. Maybe a little less opacity, maybe a little more color stretch. That kind of feels like paint actually now. See, it's striking this balance that, I, that I'm trying to do with it where I want it to be uh, blending in with uh, the, the color, but I, underneath, like I want, it, I want to have some blending with that, but I want it to be semi-opaque too, and I, I just think striking that balance is a little difficult. See, the density needs to be up. Let's up the thickness a little bit. reflected light down here something it's an interesting brush this could be useful for painting like dented armor or something like that like hammered metal you know it, it doesn't have like a perfectly flat surface. And I think that's one of the benefits of like just kind of experimenting and making your own brushes is you can kind of mess around and uh, maybe come up with ideas based, if you're going with no preconceived notion like what I just did, you can kind of get, uh, get ideas. I think I want the opacity This is interesting. I don't like that. That's not good. And it lags out the brush as soon as you start putting like too much stuff on it. And I, I would just suggest like turning stuff on and off like this and just uh, messing around to see kind of what what you can 
create So I'm going to just try and paint something super quick, like an eye or something like that here. Just from my imagination, see how it's working out. I think it needs more... Opacity and paint. This is actually kind of a fun brush. That's kind of the fun thing of like experimenting with this is you get like, you can get like these fun things going that you didn't really quite expect. I actually really like this brush. This could be a good just like skin, like if I'm doing a portrait light or something like that. Anyways, you guys get the idea. Um, and I think the fun thing about this is that you have a brush that's yours. It's um, it, it's not going to look like anyone else's. It's going to be unique to you, and I think that means that your artistic voice is going to maybe come through more in your art. So anyways, I hope this was a helpful video. Um, making your own brushes is a critical part of painting in Photoshop, so obviously learning how to do it here in um, Clip Studio is super useful. So hopefully this was useful to you. I'd love to hear uh, or see some of your brushes in the comment section. Link to that. I, I love to looking at looking at that kind of stuff. Uh, if you want to support my channel, I'm going to direct you towards Subscribe Star. Links in the video description. And I hope you guys have a good day. I'll catch you guys in the next video.